We are so excited to be here at the log cabin tonight. Um, thank you, Cherokee, and your whole family for hosting us. I'm, I'm the sound person for a moment, and I'm gonna check, check, check. Okay. So, um, my uh, legal and music name is Jenny Alpert, and I've gone by that for a very long time. I was given the name Jennifer in uh, the first foster home that I lived in out of the five that I moved through. Eventually, I changed it to Jenny. <laughs> that was like my little, that's my name. And, um, and then uh, did a lot of music uh, for fun around uh, under the name Jenny Albert. And made recordings and traveled and such and so forth everywhere. And actually sought out cool places just like this one. And I grew up on the other side of Topanga Canyon. That's where I ultimately ended up being adopted and never even knew this awesome place existed. So it's really cool to find this place. And anyway, uh, about two years ago, um, I decided to get some help from a, uh, from a private investigator and uh, decided to look for my birth father, knowing nothing about him in specific detail but really knowing just general things about his past and how we were connected and why I was adopted in the first place. So um, I thought it would be interesting to uh, meet my paternal bloodline. I didn't know anything about it. I knew mo mo mostly of my maternal history and I was interested because I think I was thinking, well, I want to start a family one day. I'd like to know anything. Is he alive? What's he doing? And so um, I got the uh, address where he got his mail and met him, and here he is. And um, it turns out he's a musician like me, and I didn't know that. He didn't know I was a musician. And as we have spent the last two years getting to know each other um, and uh, unifying ourselves, doing a lot of fun things, um, one of the main things we do is we play music. And um, so you're going to get to hear a lot of music tonight. Um, and I go by Cammy now because my birth name was intended to be Cameron. And when I met Don, uh, I, I, I just thought, well, I should, you know, go by my birth name. So I went by Cammy. And so we are the duo, the biological duo, Cammy and Don. And um, so we're just going to play some songs for you. And then we'll take a little break. And then we'll play some more after that. This song is called Less Than Forever. So Would it be for me? You 
song um, is a song that was chosen to underscore a documentary that a filmmaker decided to make about our story. We were very fortunate to be approached and partnered up and just kind of did our thing and they made a very cool documentary called Homeless, the soundtrack. And this next song is called Up in the Air. I wrote it in Nashville with a great songwriter named AJ Masters. Um, and it's very much about that, just being up in the air out on the road, really just living your life that way. I'm right where I belong, playing guitar and singing songs. This road is all I know. I'll keep going. But I'm not gone People think that I just don't care Don't drive a truck I don't drink beer Pennies in this cup Won't make a millionaire I guess you could say I Straight ahead and keeping time While this road is all I know Singing songs and singing rhymes People think that I just don't care They don't know what's going on in here Head for the dream that could go anywhere Guess you could say yeah. Up in the air Up in the air Where feet don't need no shoes Up in the air Where the skies are gray or blue Up in the air There's nothing to lose They don't know I do. People think that I just don't care. Well, they don't know what's going on in here. Head for the dreams that could go anywhere. Say, yes, you could say I'm up in the air. Yes, you could say. Save your rock star. Wow, cool. That was, did you all see that? He deserves like a major applause.
because I like just got that screen fixed for like the sixth time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for coming and being a part of this awesome experience for us. Um, again, I go by Cammy. This is Don, Cammy and Don. Um, it's just a really neat uh, anniversary of the two year mark when we first met. Um, and I know that because the pictures that we took are stamped, like the date. Um, but, uh, and so it's just really neat to share a day with anyone who may be interested in our music or the story or anything that might reach you in your life, um, having to do with anything connected to music or adoption or foster care or birth parents or reunions or coffee, lots of it iced. It's great. Get some. You ready now? He's ready to talk now. So we're gonna, I mean, yeah. I don't have to do all that. You want to switch? Okay. So I'm going to introduce you to Don. Yay! Hello, everyone. My name is Don Logston. Now, look, from the past, I come from a different kind of a life than Cammy was raised. Uh, the situation in the late 1970s when she was born was I was in too much trouble with the law to have any rights to try to raise her because I was already in custody. Well, her mom, Mary Lou Morantz, was in the same problem. So we, from a legal standpoint of view, had no way we, can, we could prevent her from being adopted out according to the order of the state of California in a court of law. So that's exactly what happened. Four years later, she was adopted by the Alperts. And meanwhile, I never, or Mary Lou, never had a chance to get to know her at all due to our problems with the law and, and the problems that we had of our own, we didn't even have a chance to, to get to know her whatsoever. And this would go on until, uh, well, 1995, that's when Mary Lou would finally pass away. And then in the year 2016, then we would meet in July of uh, in 2016. And this is uh, the two year anniversary of, of when we met. And we've been sorted, sorted together ever since. Uh, well, you gotta take into, you gotta realize I'm not from the kind of society that has a house and has a job and has a uh, wife and kids and all that at all. I was a different kind of a person. I used to run around with rock bands and drug addicts and things like that and you know what I mean? And, uh, but see, I, I've, I've changed in 2016 when I met her and, and you know, knocked out all the, the drugs and, and all the, the baloney that I was doing in my life and began straightening matters up and, and began, you know, practically living with her, you know, and uh, hey, it, it's, it's a hell of an experience. And it's also the first time I've had a chance to, to know her at all. And um, yeah, I was completely surprised to realize that uh, somewhere along the line, she understood music and all of that. Uh, and so we, you know, little by little, been trying to write a couple of songs here and there and practice together. And uh, like she said, in uh, the uh, film crew, uh, with I Irene got, got involved in, in, in filmed a little short documentary which wound up going to New York. It was it was a hell of an exciting ex experience. So yes, I'm, I'm I'm here and I'm glad you're here. Yeah, I hope we have a good time. Thank you very much for listening. Okay, well then we're gonna keep going. Um, so now is the part where um, Don's going to play you his style of music that he so generously pauses to play the soft, um, sensual side with me. Um, but Don actually comes from a whole other background, and um, so you're gonna hear a little bit of his heavy, heavy rocking sound now. So get ready.
adoptive family as well. Um, they live on the other side of Topanga Canyon, and um, they did so much for me. They really, um, after being through the foster care system, um, they got a call one day and said, hey, there's a girl ready, do you want her? Like, come pick her up tomorrow. And so I was just about four, and I was taken out of inner city and just brought to Woodland Hills. And they did so much. They helped me um, just learn music, actually. When I first arrived, they had a piano. I was very lucky to end up in a house with a piano. And though I'm not playing the piano songs today, um, I think about how lucky I was that they had a piano and that I got to play one and then I got lessons and then later my adopted mom said, you know, you should really learn the guitar because there won't be a piano everywhere. And so that, I, I don't know if that would have ever been my thought, like play guitar, never. So I, I started to learn. I was terrible and I was terrible for a really long time, still learning. And, um, and so, yeah, so then I started writing songs and um, playing them and recording them and traveling. Um, having really no idea the parallels that Don and I shared because he ended up becoming the band leader in a lot of the prisons that he was in for the drug life he chose and he did really well and actually was in the paper, the front page of a paper the same year I was on the front page of a paper in Spain doing music at the same time and it's just so cool. It's just really cool, I think. And yeah, right? Okay, so with that said, I'm going to attempt, this is one of his favorite songs um, to play that, um, that I didn't write. Keep your eyes on the road and your hands upon the wheel Keep your eyes on the road and your hands upon the wheel. Going to the roadhouse, we're going to play the real a good time. Let it roll, let it roll, let it roll, let it roll. 
sound right because um, but when we went up there for her wedding last summer we stayed in an RV park in a tent like everybody had RVs except us and we had this like tent <laughs> and they were like uh, sure you can stay and um, they got to know us as we were getting ready for this wedding and they were so nice and um, yeah it was so fun and then after the wedding I drove all the way back to LA and I got a call literally like open the door to the condo get a call from Butch who lived at the RV park and he goes hey this guy just drove through here and um, it was like his last like road trip and he's selling a trailer and I believe that it's yours you have to buy it you have to buy it you have to buy it and I was like, wow so it was practically really given to us it was amazing so I drove all the way back up to Humboldt less than a month later and a year now we have this trailer and we travel around and where do we go just now Don where did, what, what was your favorite we just did this whole trip We went through San Francisco, Northern California. We went all the way to Washington State, and it was just amazing. So that was our summer um, through Portland. Uh, with our little trailer out back. And um, so that's part of the adventure, and so that's it. So now we're tuned, <laughs> and I can go back to playing music. So this is called uh, One of These Days. And, um, okay. One you'd feel wanted all the time Show you good loving so you know your mind One of these days and it won't be long Shadows, oh, they'll be gone. Want you to see deep in my heart, show you the truth in love from the start. One of these days, and it won't be long. Mm-hmm. 
interested in any more of our history um, please feel free to ask anything or say hi to us afterwards um, we kind of keep it short and sweet in terms of the music set so this is our last song but we have CDs um, really neat uh, a, a group of musicians in LA uh, got together and joined us in a studio in a professional studio um, for Don's first time to do that in this particular place and he sat in with me and played guitar and then he got to record some stuff himself and he told a lot of his perspective on the story of our meeting and our reunion. And so that, that those CDs are here. Um, and yeah, we would love to talk with you more and I, I hope you're enjoying the coffee. This place is so awesome. They have really great coffee and they even sell them in bags and it's called Wizard Coffee, which is neat because Don's brother, who's my uncle, his nickname is Wizard. So. 
I'm Sorcerer Omega now. Woo! <laughs> and this is Manhattan Don. Um, he got that nickname because he's always he always wanted to go to Manhattan. Like New York was his thing. Luckily, um, we were so lucky. This documentary that was made about our reunion, um, about I guess everything kind of against the odds, the polar opposites of where we come from, but yet we're connected by the same thread and live a life together now. Um, homeless, the soundtrack. Well. Um, Apparently someone in New York had seen it and they were into it and they put it in the Tribeca Film Festival. Don got to go, Manhattan Don get to be Manhattan Don in New York and it was so awesome, it was so rad. So our year has been full and very, um, just very awesome. And so um, thank you for taking your time to spend it with us tonight. And um, I don't know what else to say really, except that it's awesome to be here. And to um, Cherokee, thank you for hosting this. You have an amazing place. There's so much like fruitful flavor to come out of here. I think they have really big plans. But my favorite part about this place is how homey it is. And it really is a home and it really is a home business and a family owned business. And for you to be here and to support them and to hear our story and to have it kind of all be together. It's really about family and home and how we define that is the feeling that we get when we're together. So thank you for coming. Um, so um, while we've been on the road this whole summer, we practiced none. And this last song is um, called Take the Pain Away. And before it was a song, it was a little jammy jam that we did together as we were, as I was trying to be Dawn on the guitar. So if I don't remember all the words, you won't know either since it's not recorded yet anyway, so whatever. But I'll do my best <laughs> to do something. Um, the film loved it. They asked us to uh, record it for them. So um, if I can remember any of the words, whatever they are, the main sentiment is how we choose to live in our pain, how we choose to live in love, and how we find our way through anything together. And that's what this song is about. Innocent people send them on their way. 
innocent people You heard innocent people Something's gotta change Yeah, yeah, yeah In the middle of the night In the middle of the day Take this pain away In the middle of the night In the middle of the day Somehow we're gonna make a change Thank you so much, and uh, we hope you had a good time. Uh, Cammy and Izzy, Don.